Hey everybody, Ed Bowder from the Med School Medic Podcast, medschoolmedic.com, back with a five-minute pharmacology refresher, and today we're going to talk about push-dose nitroglycerin. So now when would you use push-dose nitroglycerin? You have a patient who is in congestive heart failure, has really significant pulmonary edema, and we have to try and reduce their preload, and this is kind of an alternative way to do it from giving sublingual nitroglycerin tablets. So if you're using the standard concentration of nitroglycerin, nitroglycerin that's going to be 50 milligrams in a 250 ml solution, like the bottle listed up there. So what you're going to do when you're looking at this vial, you have to understand that you have 200 mics per ml, which is 400 mics per 2 mls, and understand that the sublingual tablet that we're giving is 400 micrograms anyway. So you're going to cause a 10 times dilution, a 10-fold dilution. You're going to give 1 ml of nitroglycerin in 9 mls of normal saline. Just normal flush, 10 cc's, 1 ml out of the vial, 10 mls of normal saline. That's going to give you 500 mics per milliliter. We're going to talk about how we're going to give that in just a minute. But if you're not using a standard standard concentration like the bottle listed above, and you're using something more like this vial here, that's going to be 50 milligrams in 10 mLs, which is 5 milligrams per mL. Same basic principle applies. You're going to take 1 mL out of this vial, 9 mLs of normal saline, and that's going to give you a 500 microgram per milliliter dilution. Now, I know you might be saying, well, but the tablets are 400 micrograms, so why would we give more? Now, the, the data and the evidence just doesn't really pan out that that 100 micrograms makes too much of a difference, but here's how we're going to give it. We're going to give one milliliter, again, 500 micrograms, every 60 to 90 seconds for a systolic above 90 millimeters of mercury. Now, you have someone with really persistent pulmonary edema, and the whole idea of giving this drug is to help open up those bronchioles and get rid of that edema. Now, this is also used concurrently with Lasix and CPAP, so the goal, all of those things working together, will get rid of that pulmonary edema. This push-dose nitroglycerin, just like all nitroglycerin, helps reduce the preload in the heart, which is kind of the idea of treating congestive heart failure. So this is going to be effective for CHF, for pulmonary edema. Again, it's going to help get all that fluid out of the lungs. And there's even some data, uh, there's a study in 1994 about using push-dose nitroglycer nitroglycerin for anginal chest pain. So something else you want to consider. So when you're looking at your standard concentrations, um, you may have a different concentration than what I talked about today. But again, essentially you want to try and get about 500 mics per per ml, and then we're going to give that every 60 to 90 seconds. Now, this has a faster onset than the tablets you're going to give, which would make sense, right, because you're giving it intravenously. So when you're giving this drug, you want to try and take pressures in between each administration, just like you would do with, subli with sublingual nitroglycerin, but we're going to take blood pressures in between uh, every 60 to 90 seconds. Check the lung sounds, make sure that all the pulmonary edema is gone, and that's kind of the idea behind giving it. I can tell you this is one of my favorite interventions to use. It works phenomenally well in conjunction with CPAP and Lasix, so it's really good. Give it a shot, um, obviously under your medical direction. So that is your five-minute refresher today. Be sure to check out the Med School Medic Podcast on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on Apple Podcasts and Stitcher. Uh, lots of good information coming out there. Uh, there'll be more information in the show notes as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.